say I'm a hopeless romantic There's no cure In my dreams you look fantastic My amour du jour Riding on a wave of hope I got thrown to the sand Just last week I was ten feet tall Now I can barely stand What it told you, it was no lie I booked a room for two at the castle in the sky What do I have to do To get another chance If I could hold you once in my arms We could learn to dance and then I woke up in my car with her cat still wearing the party hat strapped to its head and just drove home. <laughs> That's the funniest story I've ever heard. I know, right? <laughs> hey, this is great. You're pretty great. At least you seem pretty great. Well, you too. You're pretty and great. Aw, thanks. Seriously, I never thought I'd meet someone on OkCupid I actually liked. Me neither. <laughs> so? So what? Well, we've emailed a few times and talked on the phone a few times. Don't you think we should, um, I don't know, meet? Yeah, um, sure. <laughs> Whoa, Don Juan, don't be so forward. Huh? <laughs> I'm kidding, but you seem as tentative as a dyslexic and a spelling bee. Don't you want to meet? Yes, of course. I mean, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Again with the ambivalence. Maybe you don't like me as much as I like you. Oh, come on. That's not true. I don't know. I put myself out there and suggest we meet, and you seem decidedly on the fence. Well, not because of you. It's because of me. Really? You're giving me the old Seinfeld, it's not you, it's me routine? I expect better from you, and we haven't even met. No, seriously. It is me. I've tried to explain. I'm very unsure of things. But the stakes are so low. We meet for a drink, no pressure. What's the big deal? I know, I know, but then what if we, um, like each other? Wait, you're worried that we will like each other? Yeah. <laughs> Most people would be worried that we wouldn't like each other. Oh no, that's easy. No pressure then. You are interesting, I'll say that. But don't you see, <clears throat> let's say we meet. Let's say we hit it off in person. Next thing you know, we're looking coyly at each other, talking about how we both like bacon but hate The Hobbit. Then we're walking hand in hand along the bike path and kissing furtively in doorways tucked away in alleys during rain showers. Then groping each other desperately on the way back to someone's place where we nervously but excitedly disrobe and engage in anxious but maybe pretty great sex. Then someone sleeps over and there we are at breakfast and yes, it's all fantastic for a cliched month or two. But all of a sudden, there are compromises and little tyrannies injecting themselves into both our lives. Like, you hate how I nervously tap my fingers when I'm thinking, but don't say anything. And I don't really want to go see the Nutcracker with you at Christmas, but I go anyway. And you say you don't mind me watching football all day Sunday, but you really resent it. And I'm convinced your brother hates me, so no, I don't want to have him and his Republican wife over for dinner. And you don't want my dog sleeping on the bed, but I do, because he always has. And I don't really want to watch downtown fucking Abbey. It's downtown Abbey. See? Already we're bickering about it. And you don't understand why I need to watch Law & Order reruns for the fourth time. And I'm churlish about you reading books on your goddamn Kindle or Nook or iPad or whatever. And you resent how half our apartment, because yes, at some point we've moved in together, is taken up with my old dusty real books. And I think your Raymond Carver is boring, and you think my David Foster Wallace is pretentious, and you get exhausted by my long speeches, uh, like this one, and I hate that you walk away from arguments. And then resentment sets in, and the excitement wanes, and despite all the red flags, there we are stuck in a relationship. Because that's what people do, and we are people, and inertia rules everything, and while it's largely comforting and even still fun at times, it's also limiting and stultifying. Wow! Stop! Stop! 
Wow, just wow. <clears throat> I know, I uh, overthink things. Just a bit, yeah. So without even knowing me, or whether I like Downton Abbey, or have a Republican sister-in-law, or maybe even if I like football too, you have it all figured out, ending in an inescapable hell of a relationship. Wow. It's just, um, I have little interest in subjecting myself to the scrutiny, compromise, and eventual punishment that a relationship always involves. Ergo, I really should get off that barren wasteland of loneliness known as OK Cupid, but I admit for some reason, and I really don't say this to all the girls, you are interesting. I really do like you. Well, aren't I lucky? I'm the lucky girl you actually talk to before you talk yourself out of meeting her. Ergo, and who talks like that, really? Ergo, I should be thrilled. Fabulous. I know. Remember when we first messaged each other and you made some comment about me resisting intimacy? Now who's resisting it? Of course I'm resisting it. It's the only exercise I get. Stop it. Two days ago that would have been funny and charming. Now it's annoying. Sorry. It's okay. This is all just so infuriating. I want to meet you. It's not that big of a deal, really. Just think. What's the best that could happen? Or really, what's the worst that could happen? The best that could happen is you'd actually like me. Exactly. Unfortunately for me, that's also the worst thing that could happen. You know what? Fine. If you don't want to meet, that's OK. Cupid's arrow missed on this one. When they say we're a 91% match, they clearly cannot foresee shit like this. So fine gonna get all worked up about this. I'm sorry, I really am, I, I just... It's okay. You're a good guy, but you shouldn't lead people on like this. I didn't mean to, I... I, I know. Don't sweat it. It's not like you're the only guy on OkCupid okay who interested me. Well, yeah, but you said I was the only guy you wanted to meet. Yeah, but I'll just meet somebody else. <laughs> Plenty of cookies in the jar, you know? <laughs> Ed, you there? Okay, Sierra Grill in an hour. What? Meet me at Sierra Grill at 8.30. Are you serious? Yes. Wait, because I mentioned other guys? Um, no. Well, maybe. Yes. That's fucked up. I know. Really? It's really fucked up. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I understand, I blew it. Okay, well, I wish you the best in your search, and I'll I... be wearing a red dress with a white scarf. Um, what? I said I'll be wearing a red dress with a white scarf. Okay, look, I think we should maybe... And red dress? White scarf, bring your A-game. I got no game. See you soon. Do not stand me up. You're better than that. Be there. Bye. Well, I know a girl from the internet. We're sort of dating, but we haven't met yet. Talk for hours on the phone every night She wants a meeting person but the time's not right Okay, Cupid, here we go. Should we jump in fast? Or 
should we take it slow? Jump in fast or should we take it slow? I'm walking to the grill and I'm terrified. Now, now we find out if there, there is chemistry. What happens next? Wait and see. What happens next? Wait and see. What happens next? Don't blow this, Ed, for Christ's sake. Don't blow this. Okay, stupid, here we go. Mm -hmm. 